<sighs> What's up guys, Epic Beer Dude here. Um, I wasn't really going to do a video tonight, I just, um, I'm testing out the video on my new iPad 2, and um, from the looks of it, my iPhone 4 does a much better job at video. Um, but I just wanted to test kind of a, you know, a significant amount of time on the video thing to see what it did. Anyways, what I'm drinking here is a Hitachino Nest Espresso Stout. This is a Japanese beer, um, but the style is an American Double uh, Imperial Stout. So, um, and see here we got some good lacing. Um, I had about a one finger head on the pour. It's black and murky, looks like any other really good traditional style. Um, in Double Imperial Stout. And on the taste though, actually let me talk to you about the smell, the nose, um, really impromptu review, I wasn't really planning on doing this, but on the nose it smells really good and you got that bready graham cracker kind of yeasty but really chocolatey graham cracker, almost like a s'mores sort of nose on there, um, and then you got just your just cold coffee, like if you um, if you cold filtered a coffee in the fridge, you know, you put some coffee beans in there with cold water and you just cold filtered it out as if you were going to home brew it and put it in your secondary or something. Um, that's what the nose smells like. Um, in terms of the taste, here's where this beer fails. It's an American double imperial stout, right? Um, but the mouthfeel is, is as thin as like a dark lager. Um, the mouthfeel is pretty thin, not thick, not chewy at all, um, super thin almost. I mean, uh, I would consider this extremely watery for the style. If you like handed this to me and you told me you put an ice cube in it and it melted away, I would believe you because it's that watery. Um, the taste, See the tastes are really muted. I can I you just have hints of things. You have hints of like milk chocolate. You have hints of that kind of lactose sweetness, and then you have a, a lot of the sour bitterness from just a hint of espresso. Like if you took a one ounce shot of espresso and put it in maybe thirty two ounces of wa of water or you know or something like that. Um, it's just really mild, really muted, really subdued. Not something that I would consider imperial in any way. Um, when you talk imperial for you non-beer geeks out there, uh, when you put imperial in front of something, whether it's an imperial, um, like a double imperial pale ale or an imperial stout, um, an imperial anything, that means just more robust, more flavors, more things going on, more complexity. Um, and that doesn't fit the bill on this beer. Um, <coughs> the aroma is amazing. I love it. You've got that sourness. You've got the graham crackerness. Um, I expected it to taste really good. It just doesn't. It just doesn't do it for me. It's 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 too subdued and and a bit disjointed for the style. Um, and that's where it loses its marks. Um, as it warms up, you do get more of like your black coffee, your black, you even get a hint of licorice in there. Um, and then it, it, then it begins to turn into like a watered down black coffee um, of a beer and with a sort of really, uh, you know, inviting like kind of Kahlua tiramisu sort of nose. So the smell is a little deceptive because the smell is pretty generous, but when you get that, when you get it all, you know, on your palate, it's, it's a little disappointing. So, that's a tough one, but I'm going to just give this, I'm going to give it a B minus. B minus, actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn that into a C plus. I didn't like the drinking of it. I love the smell of it, but when you, you know, when you're in the style that has so many other good brands out there, um, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't do it all the way, but I'm glad I tried it, um, especially if I was in Japan and I couldn't get a hold of anything and I was in the mood for, you know, a stout um, with, some, with some exceptional amount of, you know, 
flavor. I don't know if that's giving it, being too generous, but um, then I that would definitely be my go-to. I don't know what they've got in terms of beers out there. Um, they give it a good shot though, so C plus for me. You try it out, you may think differently. I think it's got an awesome nose to it, but I just don't think that the taste follows through on um, on what it, what it says it's gonna do. So that's it guys, I'm gonna check this video out. If it's grainy and stuff, I apologize. This is my first video on the iPad too. Um, I was hoping I could just use this as my primary now instead of always using my iPhone 4. But we'll see. Yeah. I'm done with that one. So that's going to be a pour in, the, pour in the sink kind of beer. I'm over it. Nothing special about this, guys. I'll see you next time. Hopefully more exciting and more full of energy. I'm just really tired today. It's been a long long hot day it's 9 43 p.m and i gotta wake up early tomorrow so i'm gonna hit the sack good night